Hi. So in this video, we are going to talk about the MyCred member press integration or member press MyCred, however you prefer it. Um, let's get straight to it. We let's see what plugins we need to do that. So let's go to our plugin list. Here we have member press, of course, MyCred, which we use for the point. And we need two MemoPress add-ons, in this case, developer tools and user roles. Developer tools, it's an add-on that basically adds an API functionality to MemoPress. And user roles, it's an add-on that adds a, um, that allows you to assign a user role when somebody is signing up for your membership. We are going to use that later in the code. Talking about the code, we need to create our custom plugin which in our case is MemberFix MemberPress MyCred Integration, a really generic name. Um, to do that, you need to have some WordPress knowledge, or if you want to read more on that, I attached the link to the blog article. There I added uh, a link to the, member, the WordPress repository where they talk about how to create a custom plugin. Now, talking about the plugin, let's see what we have there. Here is the plugin with some functions. We are going to talk in detail about them. So first of all, we need to add a role to have the role and assign it to the user when they purchase it. We just said that we are using MemoPress user role. So to do that, we use the add role function. We say the role member fix. We say that it can read stuff. It cannot edit stuff. So that way the members won't be able to actually interfere with our website. Then what we have to do is to go to member press, memberships, add a new one or edit an existing one. In the, our case, I'm going to edit one. Here you put all your mem membership data. If you don't know how to do that, we have an article about it on our blog. Then what you have to do is you go to membership, membership options, you go to advanced. Here you select user roles for this membership. At the bottom of the list, you should have your role. You select that, you update it. Now you are not going out of the dashboard. You go to the developer part where you have to create a route in the, uh, sorry, not a route, a webhook URL for the API to, to work with. In our case, we have the website address. In my case, it's a localhost WordPress. You can use your website address, for example, memberfix.rocks, if you would use memberfix.rocks, but you use your website address. Then you put the, the, the namespace, which in our, in our case would be um, memberfix mp slash v1, of course, after the WP JSON because we are using the, REST, the WordPress REST API and the route go. Now, that being done, you have to select what events you want to send. In my case, I'm using only the member sign up completed, but I selected all events for, for the example. You have descriptions for every event, so if you want to use any of those, you should know what it does. Now, going to the code, we need to start with our first function, which we are using to create the routes in the, in the REST API in WordPress. Of, of course, we are adding it here to the REST API init, and the callback function is TC webhook route. We use only this route, which has the namespace member fix MP V1, and the route is go. We use the method post and the callback, fu callback function that we have down here, MP webhook. Of course, you can name that however you prefer, and also you can name the the namespace and the route, however you prefer. Just remember to add it in MemoPress Developer too, so you won't get an error because of that. Now, going to the callback function. Here is where we actually do all the magic. So we have to put request data as a, as a function parameter, otherwise we won't get the request data. Now we have to get the actual parameters from the request. So we use a variable request and the method get parameters, params, sorry. 
with that we create an if statement if parameter event equals member sign up completed in my case which means that whenever a user is done signing up after they made the payment and everything do this we have message which in this case doesn't do anything but i added it as an example so if you have more like this you can add the beginning of the message here and you'll see where you can in here you can put the rest of the message if you want to do this a little bit more dynamic I just as an example now going to the customer id we get it from the request parameters data id then we get all the user data for that user for the new created user we get the user roles because we are going to use that in our next if statement now talking about this statement if in array customer roles we have member fix which is our role we do this we add our message if we use it if not we just use the microd add function we add the ref which is user registration because in our case it has the points because the user registered we add a customer id of course so that way microd knows who to assign points to we add the, the amount of points that we want to assign and the lo the log entry so when in microd's log we will have this whenever a user signs up and gets the points so that way you can keep track of point modifications that's pretty much it after that it should work it definitely works we tested it we use it on website and it works on localhost is not working because you can't send uh, webhooks in localhost so i can't really show you how how it works but the the code is tested on the live site and it works so it should work for you if not please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help talking about comments please let us know what you think about the video about the integration also make sure that you read the article too you have all this code there so if you want to use this code and only modify it a little bit of it you have it in the blog article there is a link for that in the description thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye bye